Okay, so Pure Fiction just reset, and it's a bit of an annoying one, because they introduced this new enemy. Well, it's not new, but they introduced the dinosaur dude into Pure Fiction. So I guess you could say it's new for the game mode. And how this mob works is you have to weakness break it before it takes any damage. And that's quite annoying because it kind of forces you to be on element. And so because there's a lot of lightning weakness here, I decided to dust off the old general. And the reason I'm bringing him over someone like Acheron is because of this buff here, the follow-up buff. And also because I'm putting Jade on this team. So you could say that Jade's doing a lot of work on this team, but honestly, I haven't used Jingyuan in a long time. So I'm kind of happy that I can finally bring him out. How the builds work. So this team is running a sustain, Fushren. She's running the Herd of Light Cone. She's E0. And there's nothing too special about her. Then Robin is also E0. I have her on Branya's Light Cone for the increased energy regeneration. And yeah, she is on a lot of speed, so she can cast a lot of ultimates. Jade is E1. Though I don't think the E1 is as beneficial in pure fiction obviously it helps because it increases her uh, follow-up damage but the increased stacking generation this doesn't help too much because there's usually always five enemies on the field and she has her signature light cone and then jing yuan the star of the show well you could say jade is the star of the show but our general is uh he has more presence um he has a good ratio, 75-140. This is a really good ratio. And I should also note with Fushuan's buff, Jade is effectively at 100% crit rate. Jingyuan's going to be close to 90% crit rate. And the Light Cone. The Light Cone's only level 70. So this is a 40k that you're going to see with a level 70 Light Cone, S2. And Traces aren't even fully maxed. Idle on zero. Okay, so that's the level of investment we're working with. Um, everyone's E0, S0, except for Jade, and he is on a level 70 light cone. Okay, so the first run I did, I got very close to 40k points. So I made a few changes, and I'm certain this run can hit 40k. What I did was I changed Robin's light cone from the event 4 star to Branya's light cone. So that she'll have more energy because there are a few times where she didn't have her ult ready. And I think Branya's light cone will make it so her ult is ready. The other change is I gave Robin more speed. So that if she doesn't have her ult ready, it won't take as long for her to go a few times. And the game plan here is I'm going to pop Robin's ultimate right before Lightning Lord goes. That way I can guarantee a 10 stack Lightning Lord and I can guarantee that the Lightning Lord is buffed by Robin's ult. Okay, so here we pop your ult. Jade is going to kill off the two mobs, spawn some more. Then I'm going to use our ultimate to thin down the wave. Okay. I'm going to have to use my Fushun skill here because it will guarantee my crit rate. And I'm going to hold off on Jingyuan's ultimate to get more stacks on the following Lightning Ward, so I'm not going to use it yet. So Lightning Ward is going to land, and then Jingyuan's ult's going to go, and that's going to give Jade um, full stacks for another follow-up attack. And then we should be chilling. Okay, so the Whimsicality is going to start on a new wave, which is nice. Jade is going to follow-up attack. So we cleaned out that wave. Can we get another 10 stacker? I don't think so. I think the next Lightning Lord... No, 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 Robin can go. And I can pop Robin's ult before the next Lightning Lord. If things go right. Okay. Let's see if Robin can pop her ult immediately after. I think we can. Yeah, we can, we can. So Robin's kill. Then I'm gonna pop the ult. There you go, we guaranteed another 10 stack Lightning Lord. 
I think I can auto... Auto the guy on the left. Yeah. Then shave off the toughness meter of the trash can. Ooh. This lightning lord is gonna hit kind of a weak wave of mobs, but whatever. Oh, and then there's this one leftover mob. Oh, unlucky. Okay, whatever, we got to start the final wave with Jade's ultimate. That's pretty good. And then when Jingren goes, we get to launch another follow-up attack for Jade. Nice, that's some big damage. Okay, Robin's ult is nowhere near up. Let's see if Jingren can get an ult. Hit Jingren. Okay, okay, never mind. Unlucky. Uh, yeah. I'll just break. Oh my god, Fushan's frozen. That's not good. Probably doesn't matter, but I don't have the field, so I don't have my crit rate. Wait. When did I drop the field? Uh oh. My bad, my bad. Okay, this run's slightly scuffed, but we should be fine, right? I have Robin for another turn. But I'll use it probably before Lightning Lord, like usual. I really want Fushan's buff. Okay, there we go. Crit rate buff. Obtained. And we have a 10 stacker, so I'm gonna pop Robin's ult. Okay. I hope Jade can clean up. I really want Lightning Lord to do the final blow. That'll be so cinematic. Okay, wait, what do I do here? If I auto attack with Jade, will I kill her before Lightning Lord goes off? I only have one skill point, but I think I can... Relax. Auto attack's ideal for the damage, but I think I'm going to skill Jingren. Just so I can guarantee Lightning Lord kills off Akolia. Alright, let's slow it down. 770,000. Damn. Absolute cinema. Practice target?